research group Inclusive Education at the Hague University of Applied Sciences was launched in May 2017 and is dedicated to help change the university into a learning institute and community where everybody feels welcome, included and supported to reach their full potential. This should be normal, but as we all know, some of us have better starting positions than others. This fact is not always acknowledged, which causes unequal opportunities. The research group uses action-oriented research to reach its goals. This approach is reflected in its projects and initiatives. One of these is the Hang In There project. The goal of this initiative is to develop a working method in order to reach those students who might otherwise be overheard and overseen. Our project has been inspired by the work of Jaeger and Walton from the University of Texas and from Stanford. Together they have done research to what students encountered in particular in that first year. And what they noticed is that all students struggle. All students have a hard time. There are certain groups of students that have particularly have a hard time. And so when they encounter a negative event, they internalize it and it has more negative repercussions. So what they have done combined with the work of Carol Dweck which looks at growth mindset. They want to give the idea that, yes, it is hard, yes, you struggle, but you can overcome, things can change. And so they have devised this program where they give that message to students, and again, to particular groups of students, this has a profound positive impact. So that's the idea that has been the foundation for our Hanging Their Project. The underlying thoughts for the survey are the following. The first one is that it encourages the participator into a growth mindset because it asks the participator to give advice to students in similar positions to them, thereby making the participator into someone who can give inspirations to others, which can also encourage them to feel as someone who can give inspiration to others. The second one is that it uh, provides the participator with personal support because we will write personal messages to the participator four times a year. Uh, and last but not least, the uh, survey gives us data for further research because it shows the perceived challenges of our students and but also how they are planning on overcoming them, which gives us data on our students' well-being. So here you can see the website of Hang In There. When you scroll down, you see uh, the five videos of our students. But let me first get you through the whole website. If you go to how does it work, you see the explanation both in Dutch and in English. Uh, watch the videos, fill in the survey, write a letter where we ask the student to give advice. And lastly, you hear from us. But let's go to the videos, I will show you three short fragments of uh, students and we'll start with Giorgio. Hi, my name is uh, Giorgio Richardson. I study culture and social development and I'm in my fourth year. I come from St. Martin, that's an island out in the Caribbean and um, one of my challenges, I would say disadvantages, was the fact that I could not speak fluent Dutch and I was um, planning to study a study that is in Dutch. Well, one of the things that I realized as I came here as a student was that I had a really different background regarding to the study that I was doing because I came from theater school. So basically I was really used to having the freedom to express myself. And sometimes as I don't understand it, then you always go to the camera of the docent and they just go to the for me to out and as I have a problem, then everyone will help me and then we'll help them. So after watching the videos, uh, you can click here to fill in the short survey. It starts with general questions as what do you study, what is your email address, which year are you in and which videos did you watch. Then we ask the students to name two things that affected them the most from the videos. What obstacles and difficulties are they most afraid of? And last, we ask them to write a brief letter to a future first-year student on how to overcome difficulties and obstacles. How are the experiences with the students? Um, we've learned that when preparing the students, a light, positive approach works best rather than a therapeutic approach. The emphasis is on overcoming the challenges. 
Our aim is to normalize the difficulties that you experience during the studies. What kind of stories do the students tell? The students tell a range of different stories, from how they transfer from the vocation education to university, from learning a new language in a new country, but also how they cope with cultural differences in the Netherlands. Some students also tell a story of how they dealt with pressures they put on themselves, from anxieties to perfectionism to, to failure. The connection between the stories is about how they overcame these challenges, um, getting to know their strength, gain self-confidence and developing a growth mindset. Since the launch of October 2018, we try to reach as much, uh, especially first-year students, as possible. Um, we did that by uh, asking our researchers from the Electorate of Inclusive Education, who are also teachers, to uh, introduce the program with their students. Um, we had an announcement at the website of the Hague University of Applied Sciences, and we gave some presentations about the Hang In There uh, program. Um, based on that, uh, on that, those um, uh, things, we reached a, a bunch of students, and 80% of those uh, were first year students, and the other 20% were uh, from different tracks, so second year and uh, beyond. Um, I'm going to give you uh, some uh, first analyzes. We haven't uh, analyzed all the information yet, but I can give a brief summary of what we find so far. Um, so you have seen in the, in the, uh, on the website that there's a survey the visitors of the website need to fill in. And one of the questions is what affected the most from the videos. So the students answered um, that uh, language uh, or not finding uh, friends, um, being away from home, uh, losing the overview, and uh, the transfer from MBO to HBO affected them the most in the stories of the students in the videos. Um, the second question was what obstacles and difficulties they, they were the most afraid of. And um, what we see is that in some cases the answers are similar to uh, the answers on what affected them the most. So, for example, uh, one of the students answered that planning um, was something that affected in the video, uh, and uh, he, she, or them, we don't know that, um, said that the amount of studying and walking behind with, um, with every, everything and failing class is something that uh, he, she, or them um, is afraid of for the upcoming uh, year. Um, so what we see in those uh, similarities is that something from the video uh, re resonates um, uh, in the, with, with the students um, and that's something that catches the eye. It's not in all the cases but it's, it's something that catches the eye because there are a few examples of um, what affected them is also what they're afraid of. The last step in the survey is that students uh, write a brief letter uh, for next generation students. An inspirational brief letter on how they overcome their difficulties. And I'm going to read one of the examples uh, that the one of the students wrote. Hey dearest, new study here seems a lot to handle, but it seems like that only in the beginning. If you manage your time and do everything in time, there will be no problems. I know it seems easy to say that, but I have gone through the same things and I survived. Just try to enjoy and have the best time while you have and prepare yourself, because the university will be good to you if you are good to her. You can always get support from friends who are going through the same situation and you both can help each other. Also, you can ask your mentor for help and see what she can offer. Just do not be afraid to ask for help. What we are seeing in the letters the participants wrote is that they show a lot of resilience um, and they are willing to share their experience and their experiences and to inspire other next generation students. Um, so that's our project so far, but we have a bigger ambition and we want to reach a lot of students, especially all the first year students. Um, so what we did to uh, achieve that is that we had a meeting with some career coaches um, because those coaches uh, all have the first year students and if they are willing to implement the hanging there in your program, um, we can reach at least all the first year students. And we also had a, a meeting with uh, students to 
create a marketing kind of uh, uh, plan, uh, and they came up with a lot of nice ideas. One of those ideas is to create a door hanger uh, with hanging there. So that's something we want to uh, develop as well. Um, and uh, very important is that we want to implement the hanging there in a uh, transfer program. So students who are not yet here at the University of Applied Science but are thinking about transferring to um, to our university, um, uh, they can participate in this program. It also would be very nice. And of course, we want to create more videos. So at this moment, we are talking with students and we're uh, listening to their stories um, so we can uh, report them. The Hang In There project is only one year old, but already showed its potential and truly addresses students that would otherwise be unnoticed as well as encourage them to share their stories. Parts of its activities are integrated in study programs and the success of story sharing is widely acknowledged within the university. If you want to read more about the project, please visit us on www.hanginthertous.com. This movie is funded by the European Union as part of an Erasmus Plus project called Multiinclude. Multiinclude detects, describes, analyzes and disseminates good examples of inclusive education. Please visit our website at www.multiinclude.eu and learn about our activities. You are also kindly invited to become a member of our learning community.